This is losers around one. The winner will play dog. The loser will um, be out in fourth place. Uh, this is how the divisions finished. Dog winning 1A. Uh, Alex scraping in with a sweep against Dog in the last match of the season to earn his spot. Andy furious with Dog after that, after getting in the position, but failed to do enough, unfortunately, for Andy. And uh, 1B, Nenu, the only undefeated player this season and remains undefeated in the winner's bracket. All deciders in the group and a sweep here in the winner's final. Let's get things underway here in the losers. Round one here, the winner will advance to play dog in the losers final for season 17. The loser will be eliminated in fourth place and take home 10% of the prize pool. The winner will be guaranteed top three and will have a chance to win it all on Thursday night, two days from now. So put that in your calendars if you haven't already. I believe uh, Kingsman will be on deck. So it'll be a little bit more hype uh, than whatever is going on here, whatever toxic uh, nonsense this is. Kingsman will bring the uh, the hype and the pipe, uh, not his pipe, I mean the pipe, like his voice, uh, but probably both, I don't know. It will have the hype in his pipe. What was that from? That was from, uh, that was from CTW, see, I can't even remember. <laughs> well, my, uh, uh, my hype is more contained than Kingsman's. Cheese and Alex T are tied in score and lines with different pieces, so you don't need the same pieces. Um, they have the same amount of everything, and uh, it doesn't really matter. Alex getting a little high up though. And uh, having to take some interesting burns, but nothing out of the ordinary for Alex T. He's used to flying pretty close to the sun and usually gets away with it, unlike most players. Oh, nice adjustment on the square there. The, uh, I believe that's called the orange juice. Uh, <laughs> orange juice. Why is that so hard to say? The orange juice adjustment. Like a, it's a weird tongue twister. I don't know why. Maybe it's because uh, my accent. <laughs> Alex uh, getting out of trouble. 248. Cheese at 238. Cheese is eight lines behind all of a sudden, so he has the significant pace advantage. Cheese gets a Tetris. Alex is building rather aggressively, but getting away with it as per usual. Cheese is having a pretty clean game so far. And kind of what you expect from both of these players. You know, the number one player and the number three player in terms of ELO, I believe they probably still are following all of the matches that just happened, but uh, I think they still are. And <clears throat> Alex uh, getting up a little high once again here, but once again dealing with it. The thing about uh, Alex T is, generally speaking, the tapping is pretty consistent. You don't see a lot of miss drops uh, at that height that a lot of the time you do see from rollers when they get in that sort of situation. So Alex is very, very reliable. Uh, generally speaking, but uh, of course, uh, <laughs> should be careful when I say things like that. Uh, cheese now getting 
a little up the board. Um, decides to reopen the world out with the T to get the Tetris, so I think uh, probably the correct decision there by Cheese will deal with the stack that that has left. At a lower height, and Cheese with a misdrop, now line dependent, and it only burns a single line, so Cheese is in a bit of a situation here. Gets to L, that's crucial. Oh no, oh no, Cheese. Cheese tops out at 394, and Alex T is good. And it's just not, it's not really happening right now. A lot of early top outs tonight uh, for uh, players that normally kind of, you know, kind of, uh, I'm sure we'll see it. I'm sure we'll see it. <laughs> they got there in the end, uh, in the last match. Uh, a GG there from Alex. Get back into the mix. Uh, this is, of course, an elimination match. Alex will uh, pretty much back himself in any matchup being the number one player in the world, but Cheese also is the world record holder, is the defending uh, CTL champion again, over Alex, and uh, the was at least the defending CTM champion as well until just moments ago. So arguably both players. I mean, who, who's the best player in the world? Is Nenu the best player in the world? I mean, from what we've seen so far, arguably this season, Nenu is performing at the top, undefeated. These two players had their stumbles, but both probably pretty confident they can make a loser's bracket run here for the championship but they need to win four matches in a row in order to do that so it's not going to be easy uh to say the least alex a 102 here getting quite aggressive uh, as usual but gets the tetris takes the stack down and is Keeping pace uh, is slightly behind Cheese. Cheese at 187, Alex at 173. <clears throat> Chat's kind of sad uh, now without uh, without our our friend in there and the coffee pastas. I feel like I feel like Chad is uh, kind of a, it's like a void. It's a void asking to be filled with with uh, with uh, toxicity but now nobody's allowed to be toxic anymore it's uh, it's 2022 they just they get removed or well, maybe it's because i'm streaming right now you would hear me if i was typing in the chat you would you would hear it right oh man that's the real reason isn't it it's not because uh, it's not because GT is banned. It's because I'm actually, yeah, that's true. It's facts. It's evidence. Uh, <laughs> put it in the uh, the dossier. All right, Alex T is at three thirty four. Bit of a nano stack right now. Misses the L spin. If that was indeed what he was trying to do i'm assuming it was but what do i know um and alex oh my goodness it's getting very complicated it does have a lot of time to dig this down it's not like he's about to transition so should be okay here cheese will 
have the opportunity to build a lead though. She's now at 359, Alex at 344 with suboptimal board. Sets up for a dirty Tetris. Relatively clean stack considering that he has built up for a dirty Tetris on like row six in the center well, but you know, whatever. Alex gets the Tetris and a long bar and he will, he doesn't use the long bar. He's going for another Tetris to save the burn, the one burn, and it looks like it's backfiring, but uh, that is the condition of a division one player these days. Still hasn't burned a line by the way, so. Technically, Alex is still correct in this level of aggression and still hasn't burned a line. So what do you know? There, he finally has to burn a line after like three Tetrises and will transfer the well back to the right side. Um, so yeah, what do I know? What do I know? Every line matters. Even when it's a kind of sketchy suboptimal decision that like, Put your entire stack into peril. Every line matters. And uh, Alex T is at 490k now, 10 lines ahead of Cheese at 498. So Cheese with a basically a 10 line advantage of points, uh, and he gets a couple of Tetrises. So it looks like it's going to be around about a 50,000 point lead for Cheese going into transition. Close to transition. Alex transitions at 582. Not a bad pace at all, but she's is going to transition with the next long bar at 637. So uh, a very good pair. And she's, oh my god, miss drops. And now he's going for the skim immediately here. Um, instead of taking the height down, he has a roller, so he can do that, obviously. And it's probably optimal to do that. Interesting tucks. The cheese and a very late roll there, but it gets the piece across and cheese is back to safety. Cheese will be fine. 650 for cheese, 651 for Alex T. Alex T still 10 lines ahead, so cheese still has a pace lead, even though the scores are tied. And of course, both players can play post skill screen, so the line difference not as important as it used to be, perhaps, but still very important. It is harder to score points on kill screen, even if you are as good as these two players for the time being. Uh, Alex, oh no, oh no, Alex. How is Alex gonna get out of this? Gets a piece to the left. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Alex gets. Oh my god. This is so fast. It is ridiculous how fast Alex T is at this game. With tapping, not even with rolling. You can roll to. It's not even rolling. And Alex. Nice adjustment on the square. Is Tetris ready? Stack's getting a little high up, but gets the long bar. And staying efficient, 799 now for Alex. 870 for Cheese. Cheese five lines behind, so Alex needs to play this aggressively. He's not doing it just because he is Alex T. He's doing it because he needs to. And it's starting to spiral out of control here. And another misdrop on the long bar for Alex T. And he's still surviving this somehow. Oh my god, and the tuck of the long bar, the awareness from Alex T, how is he living? How is he living right now? Oh, finally a, a misdrop on the square, but it's still, he's still going. Oh my god, that's it, and there's finally the hang of the long bar on the left by Alex T. <laughs> And cheese takes game number two. 
after some pretty extraordinary tapping ability there by uh, Alex T. But uh, wasn't enough, and she's A50 is well good for game number two. And she's not a Mulliner. She's is one of the, uh, well, he's probably the only player who doesn't mull and kill screens. Um, because, you know, he doesn't need to. He's already got the world record. It would take him like half an hour to get a to get another PV. <laughs> but everybody else, they always keep trying. They keep trying their best to show off for the cameras. All right, so game three. <clears throat> game three. Isn't this where it all went wrong last last time? Was that game three? I don't know. I think it was. <laughs> so I just reverse jinxed it. Okay. Alex uh, readjusting the table there. It's an interesting setup that Alex T has, actually. It's kind of... It's different to most players. Uh, I don't think I've seen anybody else that has, like, a sliding table. Like, maybe that helps him tap faster. He's able to kind of readjust the position of his arms, which kind of depends, you know, how much uh, kind of pressure you put on the tapping or something. I don't know how tapping works. Whereas most people uh, usually just have it resting on a, a stationary table or on their leg or just holding it or whatever. It's an interesting setup. I don't know how you would transfer that to CTWC though. Like, what's he going to do? Is he going to take a sliding table to CTWC? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's probably just going to roll by the time CTWC comes around, uh, if it is indeed in person this year. But uh, I guess we'll find out. A portable roll, <laughs> portable uh, sliding table. They, they just, uh, maybe they can make demands of the event organizers, like they should just have all this stuff. Mm. Oh, some uh, people objecting to KK sliding into their, into their Tetris restream. Well, KK don't give a shit, so deal with it. Nintendo might though, they'll probably uh, copyright claim the stream on YouTube, uh, but so be it. This is a not-for-profit venture here in CTL, unlike uh, other Tetris competitions, which are like a, kind of just these grotesque uh, abominations. These uh, American, the Americanization of the uh, classic Tetris scene, just kind of uh, all money, money, money. Oh my God! We've got a. What have we got now? We got a. We have a. So we got a Patreon for, for this, and then we got merch. We got every, everybody's got merch. CDL doesn't even have merch. Should we get merch? I mean, I honestly can't be bothered. I mean, somebody would probably buy it. But, uh, <laughs> what other ways are there to monetize the uh, Tetris community? We've got to run ads in the middle of the stream. Should we start doing that? Would you like it if we run ads so you have to sub to the channel? Uh, or just nobody just, just don't sub to the channel. Nobody ever subs to this channel. <laughs> I mean, it's not worth it for like the 10 cents you might get in like in people watching ads. I mean, it would probably add up to like maybe like $50 if you did it every stream, but who cares? Uh, oh, it worked. There we go. Thanks for the sub, Tyler. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get to our next payoff in like six months. <laughs> to our next payout. <laughs> uh, Alex T is at 402. Pretty uh, relatively event uneventful game so far, I'd say. Uh, she's at 325. Um... And uh, yeah, both players just doing their thing. Alex has had more long bars and Alex is ahead. So it's more or less the story of the game so far. She's 
is a little bit of a awkward looking stack. Nice decision with that square piece to avoid the left getting kind of built up. And uh, a lot of players would not do that because you don't want to build up column nine, but it was definitely the optimal decision. <clears throat> and, um, Stack's looking good right now. Row two. Oh, misses the Vets, but actually no, it was all planned the whole time because Cheese just gets a Tetris anyway. And then this is actually a Tass right now. This is not Cheesy Fish. This is, well, it's not Cheesy Fish. It's Cheese, it's Cheesy E. It's Cheddar Carp. I mean, how many names does this guy need, really? Or oh, just Cheese. But he doesn't speed run though. He's not that cheese. Um, and he is at 496 at 121 lines. And Alex is at 586 at 120 lines. So that's a 90,000 point lead for Alex. He is storming out towards a mid 600k transition here. <clears throat> and may or may not actually get two more tetrises here and we'll see it's an awkward stack he's going to take the burn to make it less awkward and transition at 635 good decision there and it is still pretty awkward for alex here he's going to have to take some burns nice building up column nine there just like cheese did earlier with the squares and it pays off Good uh, border awareness there by Alex. Cheese at 597. Has a cleaner stack and is trying to close this gap down, but pieces aren't fully cooperating, and Cheese now going to have to do some burns. Yeah, and there's just that not. Quite the right timing, has to take some more burns, but does get the well back open for a Tetris cheese 656. Alex T now 771 and 798 into level 22. That's approaching the best pace that I've ever seen as a player. And this is just a random game from Alex T. He's, he does it every time. It's just what players do now, whatever. And then they can just keep playing beyond kill screen as well it's crazy it's the future alex t 887 that has a <coughs> over a hundred thousand point lead at 178 lines she's not having a bad game uh it must be said she's is actually having a very good game i mean this is still a 1.1 pace uh, arguably even 1.2 pace, uh, but it's uh, he's playing Alex T, so kind of uh, sometimes it's not good enough and he's just going to have to find a way to do it in the kill screen like he has probably more often than any other player playing the game right now. She's very capable. Does kind of need a long bar though. Gets a long bar just in time that cheese. Uh... Oh dear. All right. Oh, and a miss drop there by cheese. That's a bad time to be miss dropping. Can definitely get out of this but it's costing some more pace at a time when he's already trailing Alex T. Alex T has a B82 right now. Gets another one, C17, and he hasn't even hit kill screen yet. So Cheese is going to have to brace and do something incredible here in post. He's 200,000 points behind. Both players about to transition. C60 transition for Alex T. A39 transition for Cheese. So over 200,000 points to make up here. And obviously uh, Alex T isn't even dead yet. So 
She has to worry about that. Gets a timely long bar there for the triple. And she's building out the left. So she's a uh, good looking stack. Alex goes for the Tetris, but he loses control of the roll on that long bar and doesn't get that last Tetris. Will that be crucial? Tops out at C82. And now she's get, he's gonna start scaling here. Uh, it's gotta get to C83, that is the target. C83 is the target for cheese. That's 200,000 points away. Um, and it is going to take a while. <laughs> uh, if he does indeed get it, it is going to take a while. So let's see. Alex had switched to the rolling, but maybe that ended up costing him in the end because he might have been able to get that over with a tap and uh, she's getting into a little bit of a burn situation here. Good decision, the long bar to the right there. It might not have made it to the left. Now needs the long bar. Oh my God, he gets it. She's keeping it alive, but he's holding it. He needs the long bar now and he gets it. He needs another one. Oh my goodness. Or well, does he? I mean, he just keeps playing. And he's at B84 now. 100,000 points to go for Cheese. He just keeps finding a way to keep this game alive. C83 is the target. Cheese now at C uh, flat, I guess. Gets another Tetris to go to C46. And he's set up. Will he get the long bar? Gets the long bar and Cheese takes it. With that last Tetris and Cheese goes up two games to one and maybe, maybe just maybe another Tetris would have been a bridge too far, but we'll never know. Cheese probably would have just kept playing because he's Cheese and uh, my goodness. Uh, what a game three. We have just witnessed 200,000 point chase down, or over 200,000 point chase down by Cheese in post. And that puts Alex on the ropes. Alex couldn't have really had a better game up to the kill screen. He transitioned with like a mid 1.2. And it wasn't enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. And the, the crazy thing is, what it like double one point two? Not even close to any sort of record anymore. That's just that's just what that's what what we expect uh, to happen these days. It's crazy. It is crazy. What has become of the world that we live in? Oh, the Tetris world that we live in, but also the world that we live in, but the conversation probably beyond the scope of this, uh, this stream. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, so... Players, uh... Really bringing out the best here in the uh, elimination playoff. As the uh, I know the winners, uh, the winners bracket was a, a little bit uh, of a, a letdown, but that's probably also just uh, increased the uh, the narrative of the season. Now we've got the. Uh, the underdog in the winner's final now. And you've got the three favorites all trying to fight their way just to get into it and to have a chance. And Alex T in all sorts of trouble now with a line dependency on the left. Gets the stack height down. With the squares are not helping and a misdrop of the S from Alex. Oh no. 
is doing some repairs. Unbelievable T-spin tuck by Alex T. What the f... How did he even see that? <laughs> like, how did he even see that? And she's getting up into trouble now, but she's as bored not too bad for the time being. Alex is ahead, but still in a situation, much less of a situation than he was in. She's maybe looked over at Alex for a second and lost concentration or something. He's kind of got into a dig of his own. And Alex is out of trouble. He was on the... I've never seen anybody closer to death, really. That board was unbelievably out of control. The height, the uh, sta everything, it was out of control. <clears throat> and now it's back under control. And that's, that's, uh, that's Alex T for you. That was, uh, yeah, that was the, um, no, that wasn't the, that was just the spin tuck. That was the, uh, Professor L spin. It used to be called the, uh, well, I used to call it the Professor L spin because, uh, Professor L was the first person that did that spin, uh, frequently, like three years ago, before any of these players had even joined the community. So it's a bit of, uh, ancient lore, I guess. It's funny, it's funny how all the spins and adjustments now used to be like amazing and now they're just like, oh yeah, they do that all the time, whatever. It was like, people, it used to blow people's minds. Like when JD used to do the, the JD spin, nobody could even comprehend what he was doing to begin with. It was just like, oh yeah, you know, it's just magic or something, like whatever. It's not even going to figure out how it works. <laughs> it just works, you know. But we've advanced so far that everybody's like, oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, whatever, vits, you know, like you've got Div 9 players that are doing vitses. Just like casually, whatever. Uh, or new things, rather, obviously. Yeah. I was the pioneer. Not to toot my own horn. Uh, cheese, uh, 385. And Alex T somehow has the lead at 4.35, but she's kind of lost pace when he was digging and getting distracted by all hell breaking loose on Alex's board and finds himself behind here. And Alex, I mean, it's a bit of a suffer game for both players, but they're alive and they're pretty close in terms of score, so it doesn't really matter. They're both still on max out pace. <clears throat> Alex transitions at about 4. 80. She's holding out here while he gets some long bars. He still got two more Tetrises, but the long bars are not coming. Um, there we go. Gets the two long bars. 462 transition for Cheese. So only a Tetris behind after all of that. Alex built up very aggressively, gets the dirty center well, immediately getting that long bar. So very. Good situational RNG and Cheese's board getting a little high. He does have the rolling, so it's not quite panic stations yet, but it is not looking healthy. Oh, good adjustment with that T piece by Cheese. Setting up nice burn there. Didn't wait for the T piece, saw the burn and dealt with it accordingly. Cheese gets a Tetris and he's back down safe again 528 alex has taken a bit of a lead now 602 for alex t gets another tetris so alex now uh, about fifty thousand point pace lead he's ahead in lines and score so got to keep that in mind she's obviously just showed that he can get 200,000 points post, whatever, doesn't matter. Probably more than that because Alex also got points post. 
Um, so he wouldn't be too worried yet, but it's not the best situation to be in because Alex needs to win this game. Cheese has an extra life being up two games to one. Alex, really clean looking stack right now. It's the cleanest we've seen it really. And <laughs> as soon as I say that, it gets out of control. And take some smart burns. Very, very smart burns there by Alex T. Saw the danger, dealt with the danger. Sets up a, another center well, but didn't want to go all in there. And smart decision, I think. Because that if the long bar didn't come and he went all in, that was not going to end well. So Alex kind of cooling off. He knows he has the, the lead. Uh, even though Cheese has sort of caught up in pace now and actually might have a pace lead. Cheese has been playing pretty perfectly. 8.11 for Cheese. 8.44 took the real lead there momentarily. Uh, Alex gets another Tetris to go to 8.73. Alex, nine lines ahead though. So Cheese with the pace lead. Bit of a problem on Cheese's board though. Will he go? He can't go aggressive because it wouldn't have been a Tetris anyway. So he just takes the burns, transfers it back to the right side, neck and neck here. Cheese five lines behind the slight pace advantage going into kill screen. Alex gets the Tetris into kill screen, 961, and he's still going. He's still tapping this time, not going to try rolling this time around. <clears throat> and. He's surviving, gets a triple, 976. Cheese waiting for this long bar. Oh no, and he transitions and it's too high. And Cheese is done. The long bar came one piece too late. And Alex is good. If the long bar came one piece earlier, Cheese would have won the game and the match. And the roll, he had to take a single. And the roll just couldn't get over like 12 high column eight. I don't think that was happening. Even with Cheese's uh, speed, it was too spired in the middle at that stage. All right, so uh, Cheese is ready. Alex is ready. So I am ready. I hope everybody else is ready. The decider for losers round one here in the playoffs to advance in the bracket through to play dog in two days time in the losers final. Both players going out early CTM this month, well early, relatively early by their standards I guess. It's not that early for Alex but both players picking up losses, finishing second in their group and CTL. So they've had to fight to get to where they are and they're gonna have to fight some more here and Decider and Alex is bored already. Suboptimal, but he's dealing with it. Oh my God, that adjustment. Oh my god, the left side now, line dependency for Alex. See how he deals with this. Waits gets the line. Oh my, I don't know if he thought that was going to burn on it. I'm pretty sure he knew it wasn't going to burn, but that was scary. And Alex out of danger. And uh, it's good, that's what you want to see. You don't want to see an early top out in the decider and with both players. I mean, they have to play aggressively, right? Cheese here, almost perfect. I think he's taken two burns through 30 lines here. 161 for Cheese, 85,000 for Alex. Cheese having to take a few more burns now though. Would like a T piece or a S maybe? No, that wouldn't work. He needs a T piece. Or maybe a square, yeah, a square in the, the line there. Look at me coaching Cheese. I'm so biased, like, like, he, like he needs my help. Like I need to, I need to, wait, I can't do a, a Grand Designs uh, impression, but... <laughs> you, you know what I'm thinking. 
All right, so uh, she's out of out of the danger and uh, still ahead. So there we go. She gets a Tetris uh, two sixty one at fifty three lines, and Alex at one eighty three. So that is eighty thousand point lead for Cheese. Early days still, Alex has sort of stemmed the bleeding and starting to close the gap a little bit. Timely long bar. And uh, yeah, I mean, I have uh, no idea how this is going to go here. We've had two incredible games, three and four, where she's with the uh, 200,000 point hill screen chase down and then Alex T the survival and game four was just crazy I don't, I don't think I've seen anything like that before and I've seen Alex T get out of situations I mean we need like a we need to kind of uh, somebody needs to compile all of the crazy survivals that people have done and like rank them that would be up there near the top. I, I'm old enough to remember like Joseph getting out of, you know, I'm old enough to like two, three years ago, like, Joseph getting out of these crazy level 19 digs that were like only like halfway up the screen and everybody just like lost their minds when uh, these days, I don't know, still crazy. that high up the screen and your board is just that messed up have to play at that speed for that level of time without getting bailed out it's uh, it's crazy she's now 418 alex at 460 alex ahead in lines so well he does have the lead they are still pretty neck and neck in score but he has bridged the gap so cheese kind of took his foot off the accelerator just for a moment and alex I, how is alex even at this score it doesn't make sense but anyway, <laughs> well where did he get this pace from i don't understand he was like a, he lost like a hundred thousand points in the first 30 lines and he's still going to get a mid 500k transition, maybe even a high 500k transition. Yeah, just playing aggro and cheese with a miss drop. Uh, he should be fine. Nice decisions there, and gets the nice uh, Z spin, and he's fine. Good reaction there by cheese. Keep the board clean going into transition. And Alex transitions at 581 from that start is incredible. Cheese can get two more Tetrises, gets one of them. And I guess another one, 568, so relatively close to transition, a slight lead, less than a Tetris for Alex, which is almost meaningless at this level. And Alex with a miss drop on the left, he's gonna have to take some burns. He gets the Tetris, fortunately, quickly. And looks like has it back under control. That, oh, it's starting to oh, it's starting to spire a little bit here. It's dangerous. But oh, and a hang there by Alex on the left. I think he can still get over this though. And he hangs it again, and he can't, and Alex is done at 671. And she's will advance through the loser's bracket. <laughs> and Alex is going back to the bathroom. No, he's, he says GG. She's takes the decider and advances to face his best friend, dog playing Tetris, in the loser's final. And, uh,. That should be a, a fun matchup there. 
and uh, as Nano awaits in the finals. Uh, my goodness, that was that was some crazy, crazy Tetris that just happened. GG's all around. And what that does mean is Cheese will advance in the loser's bracket. There we go. Dog versus Cheese. Thursday night. Thunder. And the winner of that match will advance to the finals and will need to get a bracket reset against Nanu in two sets in order to take the season 17 championship. Nenu undefeated 5-0 and in the regular season and sweeping dog earlier tonight. Uh, it will be Thursday night. Uh, yet to be scheduled, but probably a similar time as Nenu, obviously. Uh, it will probably start a little bit earlier given that Nenu isn't the first match. Oh, it'll start at the same time, probably. I'm guessing that we started today because we had the playoff. But that will need to be sorted out with the players. Obviously, we want the players to be happy. Um, yeah, do I have another scene? Not really. There we go. Contribute to the match arena. 